Dustin May joining us on Central, kind enough to take some time with us. Dustin, good morning to you. We have so many questions, and the most pressing is, did you stay in the Fister, or did you stay in Mookie's Airbnb? We're dying to know. <laughs> Uh, I definitely stayed in the Fister. Uh, I haven't, I haven't got that prestigious yet to be able to go out and get my own. <laughs> okay, uh, that's that. Airbnb yet. <laughs> when you get your key, do you go to the right or the left? We're told the right is not haunted. The left is dicey. Uh, well, I went to the newer side, so I think that would be the right. You feel uh, good. They're both good. to the right, but I didn't. Yeah, the the suites and everything are on the on the left side, so I definitely wasn't in there. Do you believe in ghosts yes, generally? He definitely does. Uh. I mean, I'm like 50-50. I wouldn't say yes or no. Def okay. Definitely. So you're neither pro uh, or anti-ghost is what we're saying. Yeah, I, I didn't have any encounters with them, so okay. I guess you can say I came out on the on the good side. Um, He's like, of yeah, all the things was, I thought you would it, ask It was a fine me. stay. Hey, Dustin, obviously um, you, you recently had Tommy John surgery. You're back. What was that rehab process like? I mean, we everyone... You know, Tommy John is a well-known procedure, and fans and media are certainly aware of it. But maybe what are some things that we aren't privy to or understand about the recovery process? I mean, I feel like it's more of a mental grind than physical because uh, you go in and you're doing the exact same thing every day for 13-ish months until you're able to go and, and compete on a rehab assignment again. So I feel like that was the, the hardest thing and the most grueling was just the mental aspect of staying positive and trying to do your best to get back to where you were before every single day because that's the ultimate goal. But, um, yeah, that was, that was the toughest thing, I think, is just the mental capacity of it. Last weekend, you pitched in that series against the San Diego Padres in San Diego. The atmosphere, it looked like it was electric. Uh, you were certainly emotional during that start. Where did that emotion come from, uh, you know, taking on the uh, San Diego Padres over the weekend? I mean, I, I always kind of carry my, my emotions on my sleeve when I'm throwing, and uh, there, were, there were some big moments that I was excited about. Uh, leaving guys on base is always exciting. Uh, being able to get out of innings and move through the lineup kind of quickly and get through six innings was huge. Uh, have a bounce back after game one. Uh, it was exciting. Dustin, take me through pregame because I, I watched the entire landscape on a nightly basis, and I mean this wholeheartedly. You have top five nastiest starting pitching stuff in the game. You really do. I mean, I feel like you could go out there, stuff's going to play. So take me through your inner workings with, with Austin Barnes and Will Smith, and how much do you dive in on the analytics or, or – or are you like, hey, man, I'm just going to follow. My stuff plays top of the zone, nasty sink, slide. How do you kind of battle that, too, the two of those things? I mean, I definitely do my homework on guys uh, before I go out. I uh, kind of know the the safe spots and the not-so-safe spots. But, yeah, also we, we all talk before the game, whether it be Barnes or Smith catching me. Uh, me and him talk with, our, with Pryor and Danny Lehman uh, on what's the – the best case for action uh, if so-and-so comes up in what situation. Uh, but it's all about game management and being able to go out. But yeah, I mean, the best case forward is we just go and attack with my best stuff. And then if we feel like they're on that, then we kind of adjust. But we just we always have the same game plan pretty much. It's just sinker slider and then play Did off Did you of have that, that sinker in high school? Seat. I did not, no. Uh, mm. That was something that I learned throughout the minor leagues really uh, that was wow. one of my projects yeah yeah i was a uh, very bad four seam uh with a curveball in high school uh, i just spun the ball really well so that's what got me drafted and they didn't know anything about the spin axis and the spin efficiency and stuff like that because then i might not have got it drafted as high but uh yeah it, <laughs> it definitely helped <laughs> Dustin, take me inside the locker room because, you know, we probably talked a little bit about, okay, the, the, who the Dodgers don't have to start the season. But here we are again. We're looking at you guys at the top of the division. So I'm sure that uh, the people that are in the locker room, okay, we've heard enough because we got enough in this locker room to take care of business. Yeah, I mean, we, we've heard, kind of heard that all year uh, about who are we going to get or, or what are we going to spend money on later. But, I mean, I feel like we have a very good squad right now. Uh, the biggest thing for us is just staying healthy. I feel like that's 
pretty the biggest thing for every team. But right now, I feel like we got a lot of young guys that are helping, and we got a lot of guys that can go out and compete every single day, like we have been showing. So I feel like that's the biggest thing. We got to keep everybody healthy moving forward. What are you going back in and ordering for breakfast? I don't think people realize you're from Texas. Are we going country fried steak, Ooh, hash brown casserole? <laughs> I mean, if I was at home, I would definitely like to have that. But uh, the <laughs> options are limited on the road. So uh, without my wife's cooking, I'm definitely probably not going to get that. But, hey, maybe they might have it. I haven't been in there what, yet. So you, we'll, what's we'll the see omelet when we go order? In. What are you going with? Uh, omelets always, whatever meats they have. I'll, I'll throw some spinach in there, some mushrooms, some cheese, mm. uh, a little bit of ketchup on top. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That's my omelet order. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I will fight oh, yeah. you on the ketchup on the yeah, eggs. I don't think ketchup <laughs> belongs on eggs, but that's a fight for another. But, you own. know, to each his hey. own. Hey, to each their own. That's each right. Own. That's right. Hey, Dustin, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for uh, taking a little time for us this morning. Best of luck to you and the Dodgers the rest of the way, and hopefully we can catch up with you real soon. Oh, yeah, awesome. Thank you all for having me. All right, that's Dustin May of the Los Angeles Dodgers. I just love it when we get players on. It just adds right. so much.